Hello friends, this video on Polymers part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we are told that molecular mass of these polymers are huge. So how to find the molecular mass? For example, if you take ethene, polyethene, this is the formula. N can be 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, we don't know. This N is very good. But you talk about the molecular mass of water, let's suppose, or even methane. These values are fixed. You know, carbon is 12 plus 4, 16. Water is uh, 16 plus 2, 18. The molecular mass is fixed. It's a different game here. But here the game is different. Here the molecular mass of the whole polymer is not fixed. Because this n is variable. Right? So this n value of n depends on uh, the availability of monomolecular in the reaction. We know. If we have more of ethene, then you will form a longer chains and the less number of ethene will form a smaller chain. But this, the point I'm trying to draw is this value of n is not fixed. The chain length is varying. So what we do is we talk about the average molecular mass. So we talk about average molecular mass. Because molecular mass of this is fixed CS2, CS2. Okay, so we talk about the average molecular mass. And this average molecular mass is determined by physical and chemical methods. We use colligative properties like osmotic pressure, elevation of boiling point, sedimentation, diffusion, light scattering. These kind of properties we use to actually find average mass of the body, average molecular mass of the body. These average molecular mass actually gives the idea about the dispersity index. Right? And this dispersity index actually in turn decide the number of repeating units. It will tell you what are the units it has. For example, polyethene CS2 CS2 is the repeating units. So average mass of uh, molecular mass of polyethene will be the molecular mass of CS2 CS2 that is 12 plus 2, 14 plus 14 that is 18. We talk about PVC, PVC is this guy. So you want to find the average molecular mass of PST, PVC. It will be molecular mass of carbon, 2 hydrogen carbon, hydrogen Cl. So if you do your math, if you do addition, you get 62.5 kg per mole. Okay, this is the average molecular mass. 12 plus 2, 14 plus 2, 12 again. And then 1, then 35.5. If you add, you get 62.5. But if you want to find the molecular mass of uh, let's suppose PVC it is not possible but if you know that the molecular the PVC I have is uh, of having 2000 molecules of vinyl chloride then I can say that the molecular mass of this particular compound is 2000 into 62.5 whatever you have got right kg per mole that is nothing but 62.5 into 2000, whatever value you get, that is kg per mole. So, in case of polydispersed polymer, average molecular mass is average molecular mass of different type of. For example, in this case, this is a case where all the molecules are same. Maybe this is the case of polythene. All these are CS2 CS2 molecule. But this can be a case where this is the different molecule, this is the different molecule, this is the different molecule. So if you want to find the average molecular mass, you find the average molecular mass of all these based on their concentration ratio. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.